Hey YouTube, it's Leah. I'm back. <laughs> Today is January, oh gosh, I don't know, January something. I just looked it up and it's week, I'm week 59 post-op, uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery. I had my surgery December 4th, 2012. My highest recorded weight was 260 pounds. My pre-op surgical weight was 218, date of surgery weight 205, and again, week 59. I have been in maintenance now for like three or four months, and today I was 129.6. Um, that's a little bit up, um, but it's that time of the month, so I'm cool. Um, like I said, I've, I've really been in maintenance now for about three or four months, and I teeter anywhere between 125 and 130, and I'm usually around 127. Um, so maintenance is great for me. I love it. Um, but first... I have got to apologize because I have been incognito for months now. Um, I had to take a break. Um, and not just a break from YouTube, but I had to take a break from a lot of things in my life. I've had some really big changes um, over the course of the past few months and I just kind of am trying to decompartmentalize and get my life back on track and I don't know. Sounds like a bunch of excuses, honestly. <laughs> um, but um, you can see my surroundings look very different. Um, I, as many of you that follow me know, um, that my boyfriend and I separated um, just before Christmas and um, I moved out of our home and into this condo and that's that's been an adjustment I have to be honest with you um, it's not that I'm opposed to living by myself but um, it's it's just been an adjustment and um, I am, I guess, excited to say, uh, you know, I'm not really sure. We, um, my boyfriend and I, um, ex-boyfriend, whatever you want to call him, um, we love each other. We love each other very much. And um, we are really trying to work things out and um, find some sort of, um, of happy medium if if that's possible and we both admit that um, there were areas where um, maybe we didn't give it our all and um, you know we're we're both willing to work on something so who knows um, we'll see kind of where that goes but um, yeah so again the the weight's been staying off um, this surgery, this just going through the whole holiday season was, I, I could really tell how much the surgery helped um, as far as I constantly say that it's a tool because um, I ate a lot of junk. I ate a lot, a lot, a lot of crap um, over the holidays and drank, drank a ton. My liver kind of hurts, but I still ate good most of the time, got my proteins in, and as a result, did not see that number on the scale um, jump, you know, a ton. Um, I was able to make Christmas cookies with my daughter this year and not worry about eating every last cookie um 
I was able to keep candy in the house and again, not have to worry about eating all the candy. Um, so I couldn't do that before. So I attribute that to my sleeve. So yay sleeve for doing your job. <laughs> um, so today was an exciting day. I shot the first portion of um, the commercial I'm doing for um, Conway Medical Center, which is the ho um, hospital that I had my surgery. And um, I will be shooting the second half of the commercial Friday. Today is Wednesday. So that was super exciting. Um, and I did a, um, I was nominated for a magazine for their health and fitness magazine. And I think I told you all about that before. And I got a copy of the magazine today. <laughs> um, it is called She Magazine. It's, I don't know, it's kind of a thick, I don't know, it's a hundred and some pages, but it's like, it's a local, regional um, magazine for our area. And this was the, um, the annual Healthy, Fit, and Fabulous issue. And, oh yes, I am proud to say that I am on page 100. Oh, let's see, let me try and get this. All right, is that, can you see me? Okay, so that's me. That's our, um, that's our magazine article. Um, I was su super proud of that. So that's, um, that was something exciting. So, yay. Um, but I, I've had a lot of amazing things happen in the course of this year and, it, it really has been truly overwhelming in so many respects. Um, it's an adjustment and being heavy for so long, um, I think you just get used to being very complacent and, or at least for me, um, I got very used to just kind of sitting around, not really doing a lot of things. Um, of course, I, I didn't get the attention that I do nowadays, um, especially from males. And um, ever since my surgery, you know, I have so much energy and I don't sit around and not do stuff anymore. I'm always doing stuff. I'm always looking for something exciting to do. And my whole attitude and the vibe that I give off, it, it just, it must be very different. Um, because I, like I said, I've just had so many amazing opportunities arise since I had this surgery and I'm crossing my fingers that, um, that something coming up, um, a job, uh, I'm hoping that I get it. <laughs> I have a job. I have a great job. I love my job. I'm paralegal. I love it. But um, this is an awesome opportunity. It's a job through the hospital. Um, and it just kind of fell into my lap um, because of the work that I've been doing with the hospital, with their advertising um, and doing the commercials and the magazines and magazine shoots. And so I can truly and honestly say that the surgery has changed my life in more ways than one. It is, I've said it before that it's given me my life back, but it's actually given me a life. And it's one that I actually wake up to every day and look forward to living in. And I can't really say that before. Um, So anyway, so I wish I had some really super exciting, awesome stuff to talk about since I've been gone so long, but, um, I promise I, I won't be gone so long next time. And thank you so much to all the folks that, um, that checked on me to make sure I was doing all right. I, I appreciate that a lot and I, I really do my best to try and get back to, to each person and, um, 
the next time I do a video, I'll, I'll do a video that has some substance to it. <laughs> So if you have any ideas of things that you like me to talk about, I know um, I have had a few people ask me about um, how I portion meals out and weigh and balance and things like that. So um, that is definitely a video I need to do. I've done them before, but um, but I'll do a new one um, because I still, that is, I attribute um, much of my success to using my fitness pal. I think I've logged on over 400 and some days now. Um, I log everything, everything, and um, and also planning, portioning foods. Um, I keep tons of food in my car. Um, I think I posted a picture on Facebook the other day of um, all the stuff in my glove box, only because the people at the car wash were laughing at me. And I think VSG Tanya was like, you have a grocery store in your glove box. <laughs> because I do, I carry like dry roasted edamame, almonds, um, Quest bars, raisins, um, fruit snacks, um, just anything to not have to stop at a convenience store and make a crappy food choice. Because um, I'm telling you folks, that's it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle change. I've said it before. I've said it a million times. It's a tool. They cut our stomachs out. They didn't fix our brains. So, you got to plan accordingly to be successful. So I'm going to get off my soapbox now and um, go watch some American Idol. So thanks. Thanks everybody for checking on me. Take care. Peace out.